Hey guys, what's going on? So Philavel's event is out and that means that Loki's uh, costume event is out as well. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to get a four star Philavel. Then I'm also going to go over how you're going to get the Loki costume and what you need to do to get there. And luckily, it's pretty easy to get it, but all the milestones on it are kind of will cost you a little bit more. Um, now, this is for people who can finish the final note of the Philavel campaign event. Um, and basically, we're going to go over how you get a four star Philavel. And I have this big calculator, bu calculator built out on your odds of getting uh, Philavel as a 24 drop and all like a, I think it's like 18 drop and whatever drop as well. And basically, all you need to do is based off statistics essentially is open 30 orbs. Um, and you can do that. It's a 15 day event. Um, and to do that, you just need to clear um, at least six uh, clear the the back six of the campaign events. Uh, as you can see, the last three reward more orb fragments than the second three, and then followed by the first three. So obviously you want to start from the back and then go forward as you go forth. But this should be definitely very possible and plausible for you guys, um, especially if you do the 50 power core refreshes. As you can see, I've already done my 50 power core, power core refreshes. I'm actually going to be doing 100. Uh, my hundreds just because I really do want to get Philavel to five stars. If I don't get her to five stars, that's fine, but I also want to go for the Loki campaign event. Um, so yeah, there's really not much more to it. You just need to be op able to open 30 orbs in 15 days, and that should net you a four-star Philavel. Obviously, some things can go wrong with uh, RNG, um, but for the most part, the statistics behind it say you should get that. Um, I also want to point out that if you do the 100 power core refreshes, you also have the possibility of getting a five-star Philavel. That's what happened with Kestrel here, but I will say I got very, very lucky with Kestrel. I did not spend any money on her. It was just purely power core refreshes, and I have an abundance of power cores. Um, and I didn't purchase the power cores or anything along those lines, so these are all earned from Arena. Um, so it's definitely possible to uh, get a five-star. It's uh, You need luck, but it's definitely possible if you're free to play and you have a lot of power cores saved up, but a four star file of should be very plausible. All right, now on to the Loki event. So, with the Loki event, you just need to hit milestone nine. You need um, it's a 15 day event, you need 25,000 points. Um, so, 25,000 points divided by 15 that's you like 1,666.66 repeating. Um, and so essentially, if you hit milestone eight, that will net you 1600 of these yellow flash bits. So you just need to hit milestone nine and get this 100 flash bit. Now there is like some math where some days you can hit it and some days you can't. But honestly, uh, I can pull up the calculator right here. So this calculator is not very, you know, it's not super advanced or anything like that. But essentially you get, you need a total of 875 points, which you can see here. Um, 875 points at milestone nine and that that will net you there and you get a total of uh 528 free energy each day so that's um that's basically 288 energy just from it auto generating and then there's three refreshes of 80 uh that you get from like at your like it's for me it's noon uh for me it's noon like 7 p.m and 10 p.m so you should kind of have an idea of when that is and then that neat that leaves us with like about 300 energy, 300 some, and some change energy. So you really only need three and a half refreshes per day. Um, but if you're going for Philavel for a four star, you're gonna probably want to do four anyways. You're you're gonna want to do 50 power core refreshes, which you definitely can do with the with clearing the campaign event. If you don't use any of the power core refreshes, you should end up about. Um, about here and then a little bit into this node. So you want to be doing the refreshes. So you should, like I said, you should definitely get a, uh, a four-star Philavel that way. So if you're going for a four-star Philavel, you should definitely get the Loki costume along with that. Now let's do the math and how many refreshes you need to do to get the, uh, the milestone 12, which is 1175. So let's plug that into our calculator and that'll tell us how many refreshes we need. So you need a total of about six and a half refreshes each day to get all of those through. So that's gonna cost you, um, let's say you do six and a half. Um, so that's gonna cost you what? Like uh, 400 power cores, I believe, um, because it's four fifties and then two 100s. And then, so it's gonna be like, it's going to be like 450 power cores per day if you go one day of refreshing uh, six times, one day of refreshing seven times. So um, it is quite costly to do all of those. I believe that math is correct. 50, 50, 50, 50 is 200. And then, yeah, yeah. So it's it's 400 and 500 power cores that's going to cost you each day to do that. Um, I will say if you've been playing for a while, you're probably getting over 200 power cores a day. It might be like 211. It really depends on where your arena is at. It depends on how many power cores you have saved up. But it's definitely doable to get through all of these. I'm definitely going to 
gonna be pushing for this. Like I said, I'm gonna do all my 100 power core refreshes, so I don't think I will have any trouble with getting through uh, all the milestones every day, and I have enough saved up, and I'll be earning enough for all that. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know if my math's wrong. Please let me know um, if I make a mistake. It's, it's definitely possible to make a mistake, especially with a lot of numbers and stuff, but let me know if you're excited for Phylovel. I do think it's definitely possible to run Phylovel and, and Gomorrah together in Arena, even without Adam Warlock, if you are um, a newer a newer player or something. I think you can team those two up with like a Kestrel and a Silver Surfer and then maybe a Nebula or a Moon Dragon. Um, Phylovel, you know, campaign events are the most free-to-play friendly events, followed by Moon Dragon's event, followed by Blitzes, then followed by the Strike Pass, the way that Polaris was released and Silver Surfer was released. Um, so I definitely think that you should go really hard on Phylovel if you can. You're going to get hopefully a four-star Phylovel, you know, if everything works out evenly and you don't have the worst luck in the world. And you're also going to get the Loki uh, for President skin along the way. But that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if my math's wrong. Let me know what your plans are for this. Let me know if you care about the skin. Let me know if you don't. I will say there are some really great rewards in this as well. There's a lot of Mystic gear, which will be nice if you are getting Adam Warlock. Uru is used for, uh, I believe, like three Asgardians or four Asgardians. And then these are what I really want. I want the T1 Ion Orb Fragments. And I'm, I'm hyped about that. But, uh, I mean, the Loki costume I think is cool. I think it's probably one of the better costumes that there is. But, um, yeah, I don't really have much more more to say about that one. But um, I do want these Ion Orb Fragment things. So um, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. On this channel, I do guides, I do orb openings, and I do streams, and I do all sorts of Marvel Strike Force stuff. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that like button, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.